Hello, I'm writing a simple other program today. This program should ask what is your name, then check if your name, if your name is Apple, then greet you. If not, then I should tell you that, that I don't know you. So let's start. First of all, my DNA procedure keyboard. Not a name, I'm calling this program my prog. And, and this is just a syntax block. The syntax block. Here you can declare variables, then you can implant implement everything and it's just the beginning and the end of your program. So let's print the question. What's your name? I'm using the procedure for line. This here in Z is a text. This will be print in the command prompt. But use this procedure, which is already made by Ada. You have to write this Ada Excel. It's, this is just a library with a lot of functions and procedures to manipulate text and just didn't this means it's text input and output and what use it so now we can try to compile it and check if it's everything all right we have to save first it's compiled successfully that means that here aren't any false codes. So let's build it. And now let's run it. As you can see it's writing what is your name. Now we have to get your name. And we use the procedure get. And the variable for your name is just name. Oh. name. But for using this variable, you have to declare it here. Here's the declaration part for the variables. Name itself is a string of five letters. Compile again. Yeah, everything's all right. Now we have to check if your name is Apple. Then it should greet you. If not, it shouldn't. So we ask just if name is Apple. Then we should greet you and print hello and link the name but else it should write I don't know you And now we have to end if so and compile again. Everything's alright. Now we can build it successfully too and run it. So it's asking um, what is your name? And I'm typing uh 
has happened. That's right. But if we run it again and write something else like cat and what yeah there's a problem the name should have five letters so you just write two points and writing i don't know you there's a other way to implement this program that the unbounded strings that means that you don't have a border and count for the letters itself so that's it